Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Hey, how's it going? I hacked it. I uh it's been a it's been a while. It took us a long time to get uh get on the interview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. How are you today? Okay, good, fine, fine. Um yeah, so I just wanted to get a little idea of uh what's been going on in uh, Malaysia and just talk a little bit. You were just in China too, right? Uh yeah. So um yeah, I just uh do you want to just introduce yourself? Okay, can. Uh just briefly, right? Yeah? Yep. Yeah, hi, I'm I'm Chung Kai uh from the Malaysia. I'm the central committee uh of the Socialist Party of Malaysia. And I'm um, currently also the editor for the socialist.net, the publication of the Socialist uh, Party of Malaysia. Yeah, I uh, like I said, it was a long time ago. We were going to do an interview. Um, this would have been about like, uh, I don't know, maybe 11 years ago. <laughs> uh, mm. We were talking about things that were going on at that time. Uh, I think uh, Barisan Nacional. I don't know if mm -hmm. I pronounce it. This the mm -hmm. right wing. Mm -hmm. I think is right wing uh, mm -hmm. of some kind was uh, was was taking control. But a lot of things mm -hmm. have happened uh, mm -hmm. yeah. in Malaysia since then. Do you want to just talk briefly about the situation um, with the Malaysian government and also with the Socialist Party in Malaysia uh, right now? How right. Uh, how things are going? Okay. Yeah. I think for the last six years, uh, there has been. Uh, uh, I can see a, a tectonic uh, shift, uh, um, no, a change, a major change in the political landscape in uh, Malaysia, uh, where before 2018, um, the federal governments always in the hand of the same coalition, which is the Barisan National or translated into English National Front, is mm. a coalition of uh, uh, of um, of um a few uh of, like, a few major parties in the coalition, including AMNO, is is the United Malay National Organizations, uh the Malay Chinese uh, Malaysian Chinese As Association, uh, Malaysian Indian Congress, and, and some and some other parties. Uh, these are the parties. Uh, this is the coalition formed since the independence from the British colonial, which is the British colonial uh, powers handed. Yeah, and their power sure, to the sure. coalition, uh, the trusted uh, uh, coalitions. <laughs> right. Um, uh, they were called alliance then, and then in 73, if I'm not mistaken, they they, uh, they broadened the coalitions uh, uh, to more parties, so become the national, the, the Barisan National or called BN. So this is the main uh, par coalition of parties that has ruled uh, the countries for over 60 years until 2018. And uh, in the elections uh, in 2018, uh, basically BN lost uh, the majority in the parliament. So they lost their power and a new government was formed. Well, the the new government formed, <laughs> something that's uh, uh, interesting was um, uh, the the main major opposition part, uh, coalition then was called the uh, uh, Harapan. Or coalition of hope, uh, we call harapan, uh, or PH, Pakatan Harapan. Sure. Uh, harapan was uh formed uh by few parties. Okay, before Harapan, the main um, uh opposition coalitions uh from 20, 2008 until twenty uh fifteen or twenty fifteen uh, was called the no no no. Uh, maybe twenty fifteen or twenty fourteen. Okay. Uh, anyway, at uh, in the sure. two election before that, two thousand eight and two thousand thirteen, the mm -hmm. main opposition uh, coalition was called uh coalition of the people, uh Pakatan Rakyat. So the Pakatan Rakyat was formed by uh few uh, few major uh, uh basically uh, three major parties. One is the Anwar's Ibrahim parties, uh, which is the uh, People's Justice Party. Um, Gadilan, uh, the Democratic Action Party, uh, Chinese uh, majority-based uh, party, uh, uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, an offshoot from the Lee Kuan Yew's uh, People's Action Party in Singapore. Uh, and after the split from Sing uh, Singapore split from Malaysia, this okay. uh, they, are, they, they continue with the, this uh, Democratic Action Party, uh, which uh, initially they call themselves social democratic, but uh, they are quite neoliberal in terms of many of their uh, economic policies. Right. Um. And then another party, uh, in that uh, the Pakatan Rakyat Coalition was uh, the PAS, uh, Islamic Party, uh, mm. the Pan um, um, uh, Malaysian uh, Islamic Party, or called PAS. So these three parties. But uh, after twenty thirteen elections, uh, there was a split in the Pakatan Rakyat, which mm. PAS and basically PAS and DAP they cannot get along with each other, and PAS very strong on like. On the um, establishing Islamic states and uh, on and so forth, so sure. they were split. So the coalition basically uh was uh, uh split and uh and very uh, fractured the, the the for the opposition during that time. But at the same time, the the the, the then prime minister Najib Razak was uh involved in the major scandal. And this scandal also conflicts with this uh, interests with this, no, actually uh, damaging the interests of some of the uh, the, the the party elites, including mm. Mahadia. Okay. Which Mahadia was the prime minister for twenty two years, uh, from nineteen eighty one until two thousand three, and also notorious for using the Internal Security Act, uh, to arrest and detain uh, many of the uh, uh dissidents. Mm. So oh yeah, Mah Mahadev was quite a notorious uh, leader, uh, but of course some uh, praising him like uh, bringing uh, the, the the economy forward. But he basically he's uh, also a lot of people having a lot of problems during his uh, his regime. Uh, but so Mahadev split with the uh, the the coalition the ruling coalition then, and they form a new party called Rabasatu. Uh, so. Uh, after the uh, split of the Bakatan Rakyat, so uh, the Islamic Party came up and then they don't want to, to join any coalition with DAP. So this Anwar Ibrahim uh, coalitions, uh, and then Anwar was uh, in jail, I think two 2005 or 2015 hmm. no, 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 or 2014. He was in jail, but his uh, coalitions, um, they are trying to get a new partner because the uh, the splitting of the Islamic party from the coalition, meaning that uh, uh, there is uh, losing a lot of the Malay voters uh, for right. the opposition. So they are, the opposition coalition desperately needs uh, a party that can attract uh, Malay voters. So they work with the uh, Mahadir uh, parties, then and then they form the Harapan, the coalition of hope. Sure. Uh, twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen. So they are in the so in the twenty eighteen elections. So uh, uh, the the uh, the, uh, the Pakat the Harapan won won the the elections. Uh, then the uh, the the Barisan National came second, and uh, Islamic parties um they they got like about twenty no 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 I think less than twenty percent of vote and they're sure. not many lah. So they are like the third. Force third, and but third, third. stronghold in the east coast of the of the peninsula of Malaysia. So this is 2018. Then uh so there's uh there's the first time in the electoral history there's a uh change of government. Mm. And I know ironically the, the the new prime minister for the new government was <laughs> old prime minister who was in rule for the in, in the country for 22 years. <laughs> sure. Uh, notorious history. So this is the irony of the uh, uh, the, the so-called uh, uh, the, the transition of power in 2018. And what's the position or what's the uh, situation of the Socialist Party or PSM uh, right now? Um, do you have uh, any people in, you have people in government or um, um, uh, there? It's just an outside organization that's, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, organizing and 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 yeah. And, we, 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 yeah, uh, PSM was formed in the 1990s, 98, mm. uh, by uh, groups, uh, movements, uh, groups organizing uh, movements, uh, the, the, the grassroots communities, right. 
especially the plantation workers and the urban pioneers. We call them urban pioneers. Uh, basically, the, the government call them squatters, illegal squatters, people living on uh, uh, like wooden housing uh, in the outskirts of the cities or the urban areas. Uh, we call them urban uh, urban pioneers. So you have leaders so, of the social movements, though, right? Like, yes, yeah, yeah, out there leading. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we come together and then we form the party in 1998. Uh, okay. So since then, we also, we are still continuing uh, organizing the grassroots community, uh, as well as we also participate in the elections. As I said, um, in the uh prior to 2018. Uh, so PSM was always trying uh, during election we also participate in elections we stood mm. in elections uh, but in the way that we trying to uh, work with the major opposition uh, coalitions mm. uh, to avoid uh, splitting votes because of our electoral system that we are like the UK style sure uh, yeah yeah we need uh, what you are first past the post so it's very hard for a third party Mm -hmm. to stand alone and then usually will accuse as a splitting words and allow mm -hmm. the the so you the work within the opposition yeah, yeah. Um, okay so yeah so in 28 uh, 2008 we won uh, a parliamentary seat and a state seat in Slango. okay uh, and then the parliament we, we, we managed to retain the parliament seat in 2013. Okay. But uh, in 2018 elections, uh, we couldn't um, uh, manage to uh, make any electoral pact with the uh, opposition then, the Harapan then. So we stood alone. Uh, we stood in many seats. Of course, we lost all the seats. We stood, mm. including uh, parliamentary seat. We we won two terms. Uh, but we won because we work, We have like uh, electoral pact with the, uh, the main uh, opposition coalition. And sure. then we won, but when we stood alone, we lost all the seats. So, and uh, 2022, same thing, we stood alone also, we we lost. Uh, so, we have no parliamentary seat now at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, but we still participate in elections. Uh, in, right, uh, what, is it, what's it, what are your main campaigns right now? What uh, like what are you working on right now outside of the elections as far as... Uh... Uh, important we, campaigns. We have we have many campaign in the past, like the uh, uh like fighting uh, to protect the healthcare system, mm. uh, campaign for minimum wage for ten years. Then, then finally we got a minimum wage. And nice. at the moment, at the moment we have this uh, uh since last year we launched a campaign to call for a what they call a uh uh, uh a universal universal pension scheme. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, we because in uh, Malaysia. Uh, many uh, uh, only the government servant have pensions, so people do not work in the government as uh, in in the in the government sector. Uh, we have this employee provident fund. Uh, basically, it's an old age uh, saving. Mm. Uh, but the problem is uh uh and especially since the pandemic, uh, and the government allow uh most uh, allow people to withdraw the. Mm. Uh, and the 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 money that supposed they only can use uh, after the, right. uh, they reach the retire retirement age. So, uh, majority uh, of the uh people the members uh, the people put uh, have having saving in the employees provident funds uh, have no sufficient uh, fund, uh, and most of them they will run out of money uh mm. five years after they retired. I mean for after they they reach sixty years old. Five years uh, after they retired. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, they only have their five years uh in the saving for five years. And after five years there's basically no they have no other uh means. Uh, so that's why we proposing to uh, introduce a new universal pension scheme uh, uh for everyone. Um uh, uh pension. Yeah, so that we can have uh um, for for people to can live a uh, uh, a better and dignified uh, uh OH. Yeah, well I uh I wanted to talk about one more thing um you know which was uh, I saw all those beautiful pictures uh from China from your trip um and it looked like you did a lot <laughs> uh while you were there you saw a lot and I just wanted to hear what your impression was of the uh of the trip and and being in China and what uh uh what you thought of your experience uh if you wanted to share a little bit about that. Mm. Okay. Uh, 
it's it's not a it's quite a short trip. Uh, only fifteen days because we have a fifteen days uh, uh visas free uh, to enter China mainland China. Sure. Uh, I went to Shanghai, Wuhan, and uh, and and Hunan, a small, uh, a, a, a small county, uh, city in Hunan. So, no, I would say not not many places I I I I have seen. Okay. Uh, and basically, Shanghai is the uh, the top tier of the city. So you're you're probably you're seeing the most advanced thing uh, in in China right. was in in, Sh in Shanghai. And if you go to the county city, which I visited once, uh, yeah, you will see the a very stark difference of of uh, right of the the first world cities and uh, a, a still a very third world, uh, kind of uh, of of of, uh, of urban uh, setting. Um, still seeing a lot of poverty and things like this. Pardon? You mm. still seeing more yeah. uh, poverty or just uh mm. more like uh. Less technologically, less technology, or what? What are what? Do you, what is the uh, difference? It means the the what the 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 infrastructure. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The infrastructure still still uh, some, uh, but of course the we can see also the the, the different uh, governments, local government, they're spending a lot of money mm. uh, trying to build the infrastructure. But the what I heard there are also problems that the government, many of the local governments have been uh, heavily indebted, mm. so. So they are burdened with debts, and that's a problem that's going to they have, have tried, yeah. How to resolve it is, is, right. is a challenges for many of these uh the, the local governments. Um, generally, I what I felt in China because now uh in, I think I think I means in the international uh, uh arenas. Uh, especially the uh, the increasing the U uh, U.S. China rivalries, mm -hmm. uh, there is a a very polarized view about China. Right. Right. Yeah, there are people that are very anti-China. Mm -hmm. That means trying to uh, vilify China as much as possible. Uh, very bad thing. And also, you can see a lot of people also are very supportive of China and this. <laughs> right. Trying to uh parroting what's the uh the state propaganda saying that all China is good no problem with uh, mm. uh with, 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 uh, and it's hard to get it's hard to get a proper uh, idea in the U S especially because yeah, yeah. the propaganda is so heavy and then mm. you know there are the people there are some people like you said that are very very supportive of China and they won't say anything negative about China so mm. it makes it hard to understand what is actually what is that actually going on in China. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. so your experience was it's a mi it's a mix, <laughs> but it's yeah, yeah. I think I think better be the of course the first uh you have you have got to go to have a look, um. Uh, but of course uh you just like uh as a tourist visiting you won't see much thing right if you are not able to like converse with the local more in depth. right so uh so it was very organized and they took you here yeah. and they took you to the next they took you around to these places and you didn't go on your own very much right no 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 i'm i'm so just was... not on my own because uh, i can i can yes we can freely move around uh we can uh of course uh, because can convert if you can go and converse in mandarin quite easy yeah uh but of course you see now the, the china is quite advanced because this is the, the third time compared i because i first visited china 2010 Okay. Uh, at that time, I can buy a ticket. I could buy a ticket uh, without any ID identification. Just go to the counter, buy a mm. ticket. And then 2015, uh, they already introduced the uh, you have to uh, have like what um, uh, you have to provide your IDs ID. before to 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 get the ticket. You can buy a ticket, print the ticket, go to the, and then and then this time around. Uh, uh, they are more advanced that you mm. don't need to print up the tickets. No, oh. you just uh, bring your passport, and then you can go into the station. Okay. Meaning that they check and know <laughs> where, yeah, where you enter, where you go, lah. Like, that's the thing. I mean, the, the level of the uh, uh, the uh, the data they can get from your uh, yeah, from everything the like passport, your, yeah, yeah, passport. and then you can get around really well in china right i mean the transportation is good yeah i would say quite uh uh i mean then uh, the uh, uh 
transportation uh, the the I mean the the the, the government did spends a lot of money into mm -hmm. improving the infrastructures mm -hmm. uh, in the the, the trans uh, transportation uh, uh, especially the railway transportation for example the the, uh, the county city I, I visited uh, it's small it's a small consider a small county city but they got two train stations including one station for the high speed rail mm -hmm. uh, and high speed rails uh, has been like uh, quite rapidly uh, developed uh, I was still can I remember that uh, the first time I visited uh, in 2010 uh, there are only like few uh, high speed rail line not the way long uh, and then yeah. 2015 they already got more and uh, this time around, uh, majority of the, the, the trips are the high speed rail. Like for example, go to Shanghai, I want to get the, the, the slow train, the, the green, <laughs> the, the old train. Sure. Uh, the slower train is like around two or three trips compared to like 20, 30 uh, uh, trips uh, for, for a day. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I think they are like phasing out some of the older train uh, replacing with the high speed rail. Uh, which for for the people in living in the in mainland China, actually for them is quite convenient for them to to move from the city to to a city. Uh, yeah, I mean the transportation in the U.S. is very bad. Mm. The mm. public transportation we don't have, we don't even have high speed rail. All the mm. trains are, you know, the train companies are taken over by financial, mm. you know, corporations that are just trying to drain money off of them. Uh, so it's the, 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 you know, the bus, there's buses, but all private and it's very bad. Um, we have, I mean, in my city, we have, uh, a, a, a small train that goes around that gets you places. That's pretty good, but hmm. most cities, they don't have very good transportation and between cities, it's not good <laughs> in hmm. the U S it's so bad. So it's hmm. good to see that China is, you know, we have some things we could learn about transportation from China anyway. Yeah. Because they are investing in infrastructure, which is something we should be doing here in the U.S. But unfortunately, we got to get organized if we want uh, if we want that to happen. Mm -hmm. so, well, I really appreciate you speaking with me. I'm glad we were able to finally uh, talk. Is there anything else you want to say before you go? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I haven't finished the about the no, update. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. I just until 2018. Just yeah. after 2018, the change of governments. Uh, there are also uh, there are still a lot of. Uh, uh, there are a few changes uh, from 2018 to 2022. Uh, we, so 2018, one election, 2022 mm -hmm. is another election. But during the period, uh, the government, the, the Harapan government formed in uh, uh, 2018, mm -hmm. uh, only uh, managed uh, uh, their, the collapse after 22 months uh, because the Mahadeus parties, uh, uh, they, are, they are split out from the, 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 the coalitions and Mahadeus mm -hmm. resigned. So a new government was replaced, and the new government was uh, consists of uh, uh, the Mahadeus Party, uh, the Islamic Party, PAS, yeah. and the Barisa National, and then they call the the coalition the the the, the government uh, is uh, the the they form a, a new coalition called the uh, what they call uh, oh shit what they call the the Parikata National. Uh, Parikata National, uh, National Alliance, something mm. like that. Okay. It's there. It's we call Parikata National, uh, PN. Mm. Uh, so we have Barisa National, uh, Parikata National, and Harapan. But okay. Uh, okay, initially, uh, Barisa National was support of this uh, Parikata National. Uh, in uh, twenty twenty, this is when the start of the pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. Uh, but this, uh, and then uh, Mohidin. Which is the president of the uh, Mahadeus party, but Mahadeus uh, disagree with this uh, decision. He he left the party, mm. so the Basatu was there. Mahadeus was not there. So sure. Basatu was in the government. So the Basatu uh, uh, number one, uh, Mohidin, become the, the 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 prime minister, but he become the shortest uh, ter, uh, 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 shortest uh, 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 in uh, pe uh, period. Uh, because after 18 months, he was overthrew again. He was gone. Uh, because, you know, the Barista Nationals uh, uh, members of parliament disagree with him. And then they overthrow him. And then the Barista National form a, uh, with, together with Islamic Party, they form a, a minority government with the support of the Harapan uh, mm. confident and supply support until the 2022 elections. Uh, so 
uh, there, so there was three main coalition contests, which is uh, the Harapan. Harapan consists of Anwar's party, uh, Anwar's DAP, and, and uh, another what a uh, 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 party split from the Islamic party, small okay. party. So, so this is uh, the Harapan part still there, and led by Anwar. <coughs> And then the Barisan National was still there. Uh, but Najib was in jail already. Uh, after 2018, uh, after the Barisan National government overthrown, no, no, they, they lost the elections. Uh, right. Najib was punished uh, for corruption. And then he he lost his appeal. And then he's jailed. He mm. uh, went to jail. Uh, but his uh, number, uh, uh, the, he, the, the person replaced him, also got a lot of charges. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so Barisan National is the second coalition. And then another third coalition, which is Perikatan, uh, formed by the Islamic Party with Bersatu and an another uh, small parties. So these three coalitions contested. And then first time in the history also, mm -hmm. uh, no parties uh, got the uh, majority seats. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Anwar's party, Harapan, got the most seats, but uh, not, not enough. enough the government. So number one. Uh, Barisan National lost uh, badly. They become third. So the second was Perikatan, which is um, uh, dominated by past the Islamic Party in the coalition. Sure. So what happened after the elections, uh, forming the government, so the number one, uh, Harapan, formed the uh, a unity government with Barisan National. Mm. Which before this, the uh, Harapan and Barisan was fighting. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. A great being rival, and then suddenly they become... <clears throat> Right. Uh, and so this is also a lot of irony and yeah. uh, and uh, and the leader of this uh, the Barisan National uh, who have uh, many charges uh, last year uh, the charges were dropped by the attorney general. Mm. So they are, although they are, they say oh no 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 they, no political deal but uh, <laughs> for the observer we clearly know that is uh, right political deal to stabilize the the government. So the so this uh, they have a unity government. Uh, it's not one coalition, two coalitions uh, forming mm. a government unity. Sure. <laughs> All right. And then the main uh, uh opposition coalition is this uh Rikata National led by the Islamic Party, mm. uh, which uh very right wing also, and they're playing a lot of very conservative politics. So we basically in the parliament now, uh, <laughs> we have no progressive or left wing uh forces. Mm. So outside the extra parliamentary, like we still have to uh, work very hard to build the movement and build an alternative because the, uh, in Malaysia now the racial politics and religious politics is become uh, very dominant and mm. uh, polarizing uh, the people here. So we it's our a lot of challenges we need to yeah work on this lah. That's why we we tr trying to use our campaigns uh to cut across uh, ethnic divide and uh, re uh, religious divide to important divide. yeah so yeah. It's, it's tough <laughs> yeah uh, but i think uh, we have no others uh, alternative parties uh, or groups that can do now and uh, having seen the, the in terms of electoral politics uh, there's no no others uh, alternative right. Uh, parties we are the one who can provide of course in uh, in terms of e elections uh, our electoral setup still we are we we don't have a uh, high uh, hopes that we can uh, gain seats in mm. the, in the near elections the coming elections uh, but in long term we trying to wanted to build uh, 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 what they call a formidable uh, force mm -hmm. that uh, can mobilize people as well as a income election, we not necessarily we can uh, uh, what a form a, a ruling coalition, but we at least we can win seat also in the in, in the future So this is our 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 plan and our hopes now. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I mean, we just saw in the U.S. Donald Trump, uh, who's mm -hmm. the previous president, uh, you know, and now Biden's president. He just started his first trial. Uh, for corruption charges mm -hmm. for his payoff uh, during the last election of the um, uh, the woman he he, uh, he paid off not to talk about their uh, the situation um, you know so and he's got like multiple other trials coming so we have mm -hmm. similar uh, things here 
and uh, mm-hmm. you know Biden. I don't know, but and then he might become he might become the president at the end of this year again. I mean, it's not uh, it's not completely unlikely because people are so upset with Biden over a number of things, yeah. Yeah. including yeah. you know the situation in Gaza. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, well, I really appreciate your time, and uh, I will let you know okay. when I put this out. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Come. Bye. Bye. Bye.